Today we are going to draw the cylinder that is in front of us. Okay. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna first go on the sizes. So they are in millimeters as you can see. Okay. So once we back here, what we're going to do is we're gonna go on new day, and then uh, we say metric standard millimeter, and then we go create. Okay. Don't worry about this message. And then we're gonna go on sketch there. I'm gonna start with my line for guidance. I choose a drawing plane, which is, uh, I think, XZ, okay, XY. Then there is my line for guidance. Now I'm gonna go for the rectangle. So that is my first rectangle. I'll go for the second one, and I'll make sure that um, this one here is 45 millimeters. So that needs to be 45 millimeters, and this one here needs to be 27, okay. That need to be 27 millimeters, okay. And I need to make sure that from the I put the that need to be 15.5, 15.5, and this one need to be 30, okay. So 30. Once the one is 30, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for this other uh, rectangle again. So this one need to be here, uh, and uh, since this is a small rectangle, so that one need to be as per our sketch five millimeters, and from the to the that one need to be seven millimeters, okay? Seven millimeters, and uh, from the the it need to be eighteen, so one eight, all right? So once we have that in place, okay? Uh, what we're gonna do next? First, I'm gonna make sure that, uh, this line here. I want it. I want them this other side. Okay, this other side. Okay, cool. So once I have those in place, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw. Since there is an incline here, if you can see properly, there is an incline there. So I'll make sure that I have my incline on my drawing. Then from there up to here, okay, that needs to have an incline with an angle of three degrees. Okay, so that needs to be three degrees. Once that is in place, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim all the parts that I don't need, among which this part here, okay, that part, and uh, this one, that, that, okay. Again, I'm gonna delete this one, that one, okay. Again, trimming this part, that, that. And that, but I need to make sure that I have my hole. This hole, yeah, I need to have my hole there. So, this one, so this one needs to be here. Okay, right. so from the to the okay, and according to our drawing, this one need to be 12 enough. So, 12.5, great. I can also as well delete this part because I don't really need it. It's even if you can stay there, it won't disturb my drawing. It won't disturb our drawing, so come on. It won't disturb our drawing, so yeah. But I need to make sure that from day to day remains 45. So that needs to remain 45. Cool. Thank you. So and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and 3D model. I say revolve. So I want to revolve this part of the drawing. So this part against this axis okay so that is correct i say okay so on some day what i'm gonna do is i need to draw another part so this is uh why is it okay why is it once i click there i come here i click also on the plane okay come on so i need to Draw that one over there, so I'll come here. I say new sketch. I come again. I right click, I go and slice graphic. So here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to draw this part here that you see in there. That's part there. So I'll come here, okay? They now start with the rectangle. As far as I can go, that is fine with me. So there's my rectangle, okay? And I need to make sure that from there, 
up to V, that's one it to be two millimeters. Okay. And this one here need to be three millimeters. Mm -hmm. And again, I need to have this pot here, so I'll do this. There you go. That's fine with me. So once I have that day, I'll come here and trim that spot. Okay. So I have that in place. I think that's it. And then what I'm going to do is, in case, just in case, you know, I think I do have an axis there. I can just choose Y or Z. I think this one is, Z, is X. But just to get myself covered, I'll make sure this one here is there. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is, I'll go into the mode where I say revolve again. So I need to revolve this pot here. Okay. Against this axis. But I'm not adding any material as you can see, but I'm cutting. Okay, so I'm removing the material there. Then I'll say, okay. So once that one is done, so I'm gonna just repeat that operation through the plane. So I'm gonna go there, then choose that part, okay, then come on the axis. So I need to check which axis was it. Mm -hmm. So it's Y. Fine. Then I need to have them eight times. Okay. So that's why I need to be five. Five is okay. It's five okay. Yes. Five was okay. So there you go. You know, here is our cylinder. As you can see it here. So it's the same. But now I need to have that spot over there. And I need also to have these holes. So my cylinder is there first. I'm going to start with the holes. According to my drawing, that's one they need to be, um, need to have a PCD. Those holes need to have a PCD of uh, 40 millimeters. So that needs to be 40. So for zero. Okay. Then I'll go with. The second, also the first one, the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. And I need to make sure that this one here is four millimeters. So that needs to be four millimeters. Then this one needs to be equal to that. That needs to be equal to this, and thus needs to be equal to that. Okay. Yes. Let me check on our sketch. Yeah, which is correct. And then there I'm gonna go into the model. I say extrude, so I need to extrude these holes. So that's one. Come on. So I need to extrude these holes. Okay. So that's one plus that's one. This one plus that's one. So I need to cut them, and I need them to go inside. Okay. Let's say um. 60. How far does it go? There. Then let's go to 55. So I want it to be somewhere there. Yeah, that is fine. Okay. Then I say, okay. So once that is in place, the next thing that I want, I now need to cut the other part. You know, I need to have that part they done. So what I'm gonna do is I'll come there. You know, I'll say new sketch okay there's a new sketch and then i can also still say slash graphics if i want then there i'm gonna start maybe i'm gonna come with the uh, i'll come with a uh, circle i want to i want to come closer so i can make sure that my size is correct so that's circle there and uh this one here need to be five millimeters so that needs to be five millimeters i think that's correct Okay, then once that is in place, again, even though the axis might be the axis, I think it's the I'm gonna just gonna disturb myself from doing that. So I'm gonna go on revolve function. Okay, then I choose the profile. So there's the profile. Okay, I want it to go against which axis? The y axis, like that. But I want it to cut the material instead of adding. So like that. Okay. And then 
I say okay now this is how your cylinder looks like so I'm gonna try to remove just to remove all that I need I think I'm gonna remove the visibility of the plane so there is your cylinder okay there is your cylinder it's properly done so if you want to give the material let's go for um, um which material for steel alloy maybe let's go for steel alloy there's steel alloy so that is correct you know so it was a pleasure of man sharing this video with you i hope that you guys enjoyed it i hope that you're gonna enjoy it for now i'm gonna ask you to take care of yourself and see you on the next video so please if this is your first time and now i don't want you to miss next video so don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share don't forget to like so then see you on the next video bye